back YouTube, DB's Clogs here. Today we're going to be doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of this review. Today we are talking about the PAL2, Artery PAL2. This is a collaboration between Tony B and Artery. You guys know the deal. We'll jump down to the table, take a look at what comes inside the box. Uh, of course, we're not going to put a build in this, but you know. Uh, juice up the pod and bring it back up on top and vape on it. Before I go down the table, uh, real quick, make sure you guys follow the advocacy links in the description, please. Everybody needs to take their part if you guys want to continue to vape flavors instead of just tobacco and menthol. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on. There has already been flavor bans in different cities around the United States. And there's also a big deal going on down in Australia right now. Um, check out Vaping Bogan, he's the best one for the whole uh, Australia vape advocacy stuff that's going on. But with that said, let's go down the table and take a look at what comes inside the Artery PAL2 Tony B pod. So this is the box the Artery PAL2 is going to come in. front of the box is going to say Artery Tony B Project PAL2 for your happy vape experience. This side of the box just has their website, UPC, artery, social media, your security code with a quick response code, PAL2, and then on the back of the box, just some cautions. So inside the box, going to receive your device user manual QC card warranty card micro USB cable extra coil and some extra o-rings and a fill plug there are two coils available for this at the present time one is a 1.2 ohm mouth lung coil and the other one is a 0.6 ohm mesh coil this is made out of aluminum 6063 Voltage is 3.2 to 4.2. It's a thousand milliamp hour built in battery. The pod holds three mils of juice and the size is 43 by 17 by 83 millimeters. So the device, you're going to have your fire button on the front. It says artery. Side of the device is blank, back of the device is blank. This side of the device, you're gonna have your micro USB charge port with some ventilation. And then on the bottom, it just says a Tony B project and some warnings. To fill the pod, there's an indentation right here. You just stick your fingernail under. Magnets are pretty strong, just pull it off and it's a door. And then here is your pod. To get your pod out, you just kind of push down on it and just pull it out. To fill the pod, you're just gonna lift the fill plug and fill it right there. And this does have adjustable airflow on it, so this ring here at the bottom you can adjust the airflow with and on this one you don't change the pod you just change the coils so to get your coil out just turn the airflow control ring counterclockwise and then eventually it's kind of hard to grab it's kind of short so it's kind of hard to grab but you 
the coils do unscrew. And there's your coil. And there's your pod. They are also making clear pods, which makes it easier to see your juice. But the device in the standard packaging comes with the black frosted pod. So I'm going to go ahead and prime this up. Prime it just like you do any other coil. The juice I am using today is going to be some crumbs drop, some crumbs drops taft, which is a blue raspberry strawberry taffy. They also make this in regular, um, regular juice as well. You can get it in I believe zero three and six milligram, but this is some twenty five milligram salt nick. That's what I'll be using in the, this device today. Also, big shout out to M&D Distribution for sending this juice over to me. But to fill it, or to prime this rather, just like any other coil, you just put a couple drops in it to get it started. You don't want to put too much, otherwise you'll get juice all over your hands. then just screw your coil back into your pod. The fill port on this is pretty large, so any of your bottle tips should just fit in pretty easily. Now I can see why they're making clear pods. It is kind of hard to see your juice level in here. That should be good enough. Make sure that plug's in there good. You don't want juice leaking out all over the place. Then you want to let that sit for three to five minutes. Put your door back on. We'll be good to go. Now to turn this on, should be five clicks on, five clicks off, I believe. Okay, yeah, the lights on the side here by the USB charge port. And there we go. The device is on. I'm going to let that sit for a couple minutes. We'll bring it back up on top and vape on it. One last thing, the battery. The uh, battery indicator light 
if it's red, it's 5 to 15 percent. Purple is 15 to 50 percent. Blue light is 50 to 100 percent. Also, there's an eight second cutoff. The blue light will flash five times and stop firing if the fire button is held for eight seconds. So there is an eight second cutoff on this device. But there you go, guys. That is the Artery Pal 2. Bring it back up on top. Let's vape on it. I'll give you my pros and cons. All right, back up top with the Artery Pal 2 by Tony B. Um, we'll jump right into it. I absolutely love this device. Um, it has replaced my Loss Vape Orion, the DNA version. Um, this is my primary device. Whenever I'm out and about, I'm always carrying a pod. And so I've been vaping on primarily just this for the last week, week and a half. Um, mainly, I don't vape on my mod or, or mods when I'm in the car just because I don't like to blow huge clouds while I'm driving. So I'm usually vaping a pod. But, um, so yeah, I, there's a lot I love about this and I do have a couple cons, but let's go over the pros first. They do include two coils and one pod. Um, so that is definitely a pro that it, they do give you both coils. I am currently using the 0.6 ohm mesh coil with 35 milligram Nick salt. And oh my God, I know what you guys are going to say. You can't use Nick salt in a sub ohm coil. That is not true. If it isn't a pod system, it's completely fine. Um, basically, what they're saying when you don't want to use Nick salt on a sub ohm coil would be like if you're dripping it on an on RDA or in a sub ohm tank vaping it at higher wattages on a mod, so forth, so on. But to use it in a pod system, just like the Orion, the Orion's coils are a 0.5 and a 0.25 before the new one came out. So I was running 35 milligram nick salt on a 0.5 uh, coil in the Orion. But anyhow, so they do include two coils in one pod. Definitely a pro. The build quality is definitely a pro. Um, the flavor that I get off of the mesh coil is the best flavor I've ever had on a pod system. That is including the Orion. The adjustable airflow is a pro. There's not a whole lot of uh, pod systems out there that have adjustable airflow, um, but that's definitely a pro. Uh, the, the cons that I found with this device are basically subjective. Um, the first main con that I have is the pod is a black frosted, black frosted pod so it's hard to see your juice level unless you're holding it up to a light bulb or light of some nature. The fill port, the fill port being it, that it's on the side, the fill port is right here being that it's on the side of the device, or the side of the pod rather, instead of the top or the bottom, kind of makes the pain in the ass to fill. Uh, I wish it was on the top or the bottom, um, so you could fill it all the way up. It's just, it's kind of a pain in the ass being the way that they have it. Um, also, the airflow, although it is adjustable, but it is single-sided, there's only airflow slots on one side of the device. So the other device, there's no airflow slots just on one side. So when you when you hit it, you only hear the airflow out of whichever way you're holding it. So if the airflow is on my left like it is now, I only hear the airflow out of my left ear. So, you know, it's just me being nitpicky because I'm so used to vaping on like an RDA where... You hear the airflow evenly on both sides. Um, so, yeah, that to me is a con. Um, the only other con that I have is I wish that there was like some sort of window. Some sort of like cutout here or here, either side of the device, 
to see your juice level without having to take off the the cover. Uh, yes, it's not a lot of work to take off the cover, but you know, it's just me being nitpicky. I, I just wish I could look up, look at it, and see where my juice was. But other than that, I absolutely love the device. It's basically my all-day carry right now, um, and what I vape on when I'm out and about. So other than that, you guys make sure you follow the advocacy links again. Please make sure you guys do that. And I don't care if you guys are vaping on a hand-me-down device or something you guys spent a lot of money on as long as you're not smoking. So until next time, guys, vape safe, always check your batteries, and keep it cloudy.